Well, then I was going to school at the church. The Klukish himself that was using the birch, but very little or a leather strap. But mostly he was giving you a rap on the head with his knuckles and a little hum. Oh, grand old man was Jemmy Jim. <coughs> Teaching what wasser he couldn't taste, bless me, I, and powerful to preach in a chapel. But teaching, navigation, menseration, trigonometry, job. Teach it like a bird. But you couldn't understand a word. <laughs> well, what would you expect like a man that way that never was a week at say? No, no tailor he was to his trade, and many's the pair of fine breeches he's made in yonder school, cut out there on the desk of forum and so and so and come say, come say, all oh, the little sinners we were to be sure, and take your dinners each out that hearty at twelve o'clock. A fine old cock, a fine old cock. I didn't learn much, but there's plenty that did. There was one little chap there with a big round head. You never seen the round boy, Jane. That boy was learning everything. And the more he learned, the bigger it got. <laughs> and the rounder. Look at that boy, old Klukish was saying. Fit enough to make your tail in that head, he'd say. It's like a bottomless pit. There's nothing that doesn't go into it. Nothing, says Klukish. And right, no doubt, it all went in. <laughs> but it never come out. <laughs> never. So it couldn't be no loss at yonder chop at all. No, it stood, it was in the big round head. My God, boys, it's grand to have a head that'll grow and expand and never leave a drop. Pride the mother. But of course, he died. <laughs> yes, certainly died. You see, the working and the fuss of all that was in him, just like a biler was no safety valve and no grace for the isler. No, no, nothing. Oh, yes. He died. <laughs> That's him.